Hello everyone, my name is Sally with the YMCA and today we get to talk about food. I'm going to be showing you how to prepare a healing tonic, ginger tea. But before we get started, let's talk about the materials you'll need in your own kitchen. You will need a cutting board. I like to place a towel underneath my cutting board. It prevents any slipping and sliding of that cutting board. A great step if you're just learning how to have knife skills or if you're teaching children how to have knife skills, it's a nice safety step. A knife, a teaspoon, and then this is a bonus item. It's a mini mandolin. This is a great tool um, to have in the kitchen if you don't feel as confident about your knife skills. Um, also great with children if you'd like them to be contributing and preparing the food as well. Um, so if you have this, great. If you don't, you don't need it. Of course, your favorite cozy tea mug. And our groceries, which is ginger root, lemon, turmeric, and raw honey. And behind me, you'll see that I already have our tea water boiling. So any sort of vessel that you like to boil your tea water in, whether it's an electric kettle or just a regular pan on the stove top like you see me doing here. So before I get started on preparing this tea, let's talk a little bit about the benefits of ginger root. Ginger root first can be found in the produce section. It's a very common produce item. It's often located near um, the peppers and the mushrooms and the lemongrass, and turmeric is also located there. So it shouldn't be a hard ingredient for you to find. But ginger has many healing properties. Um, it is wonderful for warming up the body. It has a very fiery nature to it. So if you're somebody who has a cold constitution or maybe your fingers are always cold or your feet are always cold, adding in ginger tea could actually improve the circulation of your body. In traditional Chinese medicine, it's often used um, to improve qi or the circulation of your body. In addition, ginger is wonderful for um, aiding any sort of constipation. So it's great to have after you've had a meal or if you're feeling a little bit sluggish about your digestion. I should note too that it is a natural laxative. So if you sense that your stools are getting a little too loose, it's important to recognize that you should peel back on the amount of ginger you're consuming. Many people can have three, four cups of ginger tea a day and not even notice that laxative effect. So it is important to know, but just pay attention to your body. Ginger is also super high in vitamin C. So again, this is a great tea to add in during cold and flu season as a great immune booster. So something to think about as you think about adding this healing tonic into your routine. Okay, so let's begin. So go ahead and grab your chef knife and we don't need a whole lot of ginger. This is a lot of ginger right here. So just take off about an inch to two inches of um, ginger off of your root. It just snaps right off, see? You can see how fibrous it is there. It kind of looks hairy, it's cool stuff. And we're gonna leave the skin on. Um, some people like the skin to come off, but you know we're not cooking with it, we're just gonna be boiling it. So you can go ahead and leave the skin right on. And we're just gonna be finely slicing this ginger. it's pretty fine there and then we're gonna grab our tea water and we're gonna put the ginger right into the water place that on turn on our burners and then bring that to a boil I would allow it to boil for about two to five minutes. Um, you know, once it's boiled and the properties have started to go into the tea water, 
Um, you can actually put it on simmer and keep it on your stove throughout the day. It's something I like to do, um, you know, during a work day or, you know, a Sunday at home, just keeping ginger tea simmering on the stove. So we're going to let that, you know, simmer for a little bit. And then I'm going to talk about these other components. So I mentioned that ginger is kind of a fiery quality to it. So if it feels a little too spicy on your palate, it's nice to kind of cut through that spice with some either acid or sweetness. So I have a lemon here. So we're just gonna slice a wedge and that's gonna be available to us once that tea is ready to just squeeze into a, a little bit of acid into the tea. But maybe you have a little bit more of a sweet palate. So we also have honey as an option. Um, so, you know, to your tasting, you can add some honey. And then I mentioned we have the turmeric here. So turmeric is very similar to ginger, has a lot of similar properties, extremely anti-inflammatory. It's a very popular herb right now, so you've probably heard a lot about turmeric. But it's something else that can be added to your ginger tea. So maybe just instead of having ginger, you can also have ginger and turmeric tea. Okay, so once your tea has been boiling for a while, you literally can just pour your ginger tea into the mug. Squeeze some lemon in there, some honey, Don't forget to stir. And always remember to taste. And there we have it. Ginger tea. Cheers. <laughs>